So here's my question, and that, and that is, Mark Giuliano talked to me on, on our interview once about sometimes he wishes he could play like he used to before school entered the equation. Just him discovering on his own, you know, figuring this shit out and just kind of going through the motions and listening to lots of records and practicing all kinds. And then when he went to school, it you're learning all this stuff and it, it you know you, you're still really fertile i would imagine as well in these concepts and ideas well that's why you're going there is to learn so you're probably very accepting of the information coming in and so what i wonder is if there was ever a, a time when you're in school where you were trying to protect this thing that you had created beforehand and if you ever think back like oh i wish i could have unlearned some of the stuff that i learned in school and preserved this thing that i had before i went that's a cool question you know i my situation was was maybe a little different i i um didn't know a lot about jazz and that's why i went to north texas was because that's what they're known for, and, and that's really what the program is. It's a jazz studies program. Mm -hmm. I was coming from a rock, R&B, you know, groove place. But as far as improvisation and, and the touch on the instrument with jazz and, and open tuning and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. that really changed everything for me, studying with... Um, Ed Sof, which oh. he taught there, which is incredible. Um, and just being around all my peers that were so far ahead of me with that kind of stuff. I was just learning. It was just, it was great. I was just a sponge picking it all <laughs> up. Um, so I was always happy that I went that route instead of just relying on myself, you know. Right. Um, so that was, that was just great because it, it just really turned everything around in every way. Technique. Just my perception, how I thought about drums, what drums could actually be, meaning you know they could they could be melodic they could I can improvise, I can play tunes on the drums, like right. I can think differently and come up with ideas in a different way, and you know it just goes on and on and on. The touch um, changed everything um, but you learn so much I, I will say this, you get so overwhelmed with information mm -hmm. at a school like that, that it's just impossible to, to master any of it. Yeah, right. You know, it's just like, it's so much. And uh, what I did, I took, I didn't finish school. Um, Ed Sof kind of asked me, do you want to do this, you know, for a living? In, in so many ways, he kind of, okay. and he was encouraging it. Mm -hmm. And of course I did. I mean, that's kind of the whole point here is, you know, I, I guess what was happening is he, he was just kind of saying, maybe you're ready to get out there and see what can happen. I you know? see. And I remember him talking to my mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because she was like, oh, well, shouldn't he have a degree? Well, you know, <laughs> and he made it, he, he was like, okay, I, he understood, but he was cool to, to tell her, you know what? He's going to be okay. Okay. And however he said it. And it, it, it made my mom accept that. Okay. Well, then he maybe he doesn't need a degree. So anyway, I didn't finish. Uh, Ed was the best, the best teacher ever. Um, but uh, I just stayed in Dallas for maybe f another four or five years, and I just tried to figure all this stuff out. I was like, man, I need a second to just mm -hmm. get in a practice room by myself. I was working a lot, playing in bands seven, six nights a week. Working a lot, Wait, and that what, was good what too. What years are we talking here? Too? We're talking from like ninety two to ninety six. Okay, so it's a good four year period where I stayed in Dallas, played around the Dallas Fort Worth area in many different situations, getting a lot of experience playing out, playing gigs away from school, mm -hmm. and uh, and just practicing as much as possible. You know, right. I just got really, really into it. Yeah, yeah. So that was my period where. I feel like I had the most growth because I took everything that I came from and everything I just got from school mm -hmm. and I just put it together and I mixed it up in a pot. And I'm like, this is, what am I going to be when I grow up? You know, yeah, like, what right. am I, what am I, I know I'm going to go to New York or LA. I had, I don't know if I determined that yet at the time. 
And so huh. what, am, what am I going to bring to the table? You right. know, I got to be ready. And I'm just, I don't want to just be a drummer that plays all styles and well. I want to sure. be someone that has something that uh, hopefully is different and unique and will get, get attention because yeah. there's a lot of competition out there. Yeah. So that's what I had in mind and, and, and was just really focused on trying to find that. And um, anyway, so I eventually moved to New York City in 96. But yeah. that period was just, um, that was the best part of it uh, for me was uh, this, I kind of realized who I was in a way, you know? Wow. <laughs> At least it started there. Yeah, right. You know, and then when I went to New York, playing with the Kranz Trio and other things, I was able to go even further with it, you know, yeah. gave me that opportunity. It was pretty cool that that came along. <laughs> 